Thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. All right. So we start with the burning question. What is medical coding? Now, medical coding is a profession in the health industry. And it is a global program. So I'm going to define medical coding using the accrediting and or certification body. The American Academy of Professional Coders, AAPC, is the professional association for uh, people working in the building and coding for healthcare in the United States. And AAPC defines medical coding as this. Medical coding is the transformation of healthcare diagnosis, procedures, medical services, and equipment into universal medical alpha numeric codes. The diagnosis and procedure codes are taken from medical record documentations, such as, a, such as transcription of physician notes, laboratory and radiologic results, etc. Medical coding professionals help ensure the codes are applied correctly during the medical billing process, which includes abstracting the information from documentation assigning the appropriate codes and creating a claim to be paid by insurance carriers. To put it in simple terms, medical coding involves converting a patient health record in a health facility into alphanumeric codes. Alpha numerical simply means alphabet and numbers, a code comprising of alphabet and numbers. And these codes have been developed already. You are not going to write any new code. By the way, medical coding is not computer programming. So it is not Python or C++ or JavaScript, no. It is simply assigning existing codes alphabet and numbers to diagnosis, procedures, medical services, and equipment used in providing healthcare service to a patient. Okay. There are three sets of codes that are used in medical coding. The first one is called the International Classification of Diseases, or ICD. International Classification of Diseases, or ICD. It's a globally used diagnostic tool for epidemiology, healthcare man health management, and clinical purposes. The ICD is maintained by the World Health Organization which is the directing and coordinating authority for health within the United Nations system. ICD serves as a broad range, ICD serves a broad range of uses globally and provides critical knowledge on the extent, causes and consequences of human disease and death worldwide via data that is reported and coded with the ICD. So the WHO maintains, in fact, the WHO develops and maintains this international classification of diseases. Okay. An example of an ICD code will be SO6.OX1A. So this is a code that had been developed for a concoction with loss of consciousness of 30 minutes or less, initial encounter. 
So whenever a medical professional and insurance person sees this code, that person knows this code means concussion with loss of consciousness of about 30 minutes or less in the patient. And this is the first time the patient has been brought to the health facility uh, to be seen by a health professional. Second example is Y92.010. And this code stands for kitchen or single family private house as the place of occurrence of the external cause. Uh, this, code, this code simply means uh, an accident occurred in the kitchen and it describes the place of the occurrence and so on and so forth. So by way of example, these are the codes under ICD-10, sorry, ICD. And um, ICD goes through periodic revision. Current, we have the 10th edition. Currently we're using the 11th edition of ICD. Started from the first edition in the 1900s. Almost about every 10 years there's a major revision, then you have a new version or the, the new edition of the ICD. The current, as of January, 1st January 2011, 20, 1st January 2022, the whole world is currently using the 11th edition of the International Classification of Diseases. Okay. So that's by way of an example of an ICD code. The next set of code, a medical code that we use, is what we call a CPT code. A CPT code. The CPT stands for Current Procedural Terminology. Current Procedural Terminology. And the Current Procedural Terminology codes offer doctors and healthcare professionals a uniform language for coding medical services and procedures to streamline report, reporting increase accuracy and efficiency. There are over 130,000 CPT codes. CPT codes are a worldwide coding system for medical treatment. Each operation is assigned a five digit code that indicates the type of service supplied to the health insurance companies. So an example of a CPT code is 90387 and it's for individual psychotherapy for 30 minutes. Okay. Then the third set of code is the HCPCS codes. The third set of code is the HCPCS code. HCPCS stands for the Healthcare Common Procedure Coding System. ACPCS, and this is produced by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services for their purpose. Now the, center, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services is a, a federal agency of the United States government that oversees the implementation of a federal and state by state health insurance system for the American people. And this body, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, among other things, develops a set of codes, develop a set of codes for uh, a purpose. And these codes are called HCPCS codes. We normally pronounce it HCPCS codes. HIPIC codes. Now the HIPIC is a collection of standardized codes that represent medical procedures, supplies, products, and services. Okay. So these are the three sets of code, a medical code that we use in coding. So for now, let me summarize so far what we've heard and what I'm trying to drive, I mean, turn across. Medical coding involves the use of three sets of code. 
Medical coding involves mm -hmm. three sets of codes that are applied or assigned to diagnosis of a patient, the medication used on the patient, the surgical procedure performed on the patient, the laboratory test performed on the patient, medication, any service at all that the patient goes through at the hospital. At the hospital are coded, and these codes are used in the preparation of hospital bills for patients to pay. The medical coder is at the center of all this. You prepare the code, you submit the code for billing, and then you present it to the health insurance and the insurance pay. So that brings me to the purpose of medical coding. Medical coding is used mostly for insurance reimbursement. So the patient goes to the hospital and a record is kept on this patient. In Ghana, we call it the, uh, the patient folder. Uh, in Europe and uh, in America, these are digital uh, documents. Well, in Ghana and most West African countries, we now have some um, digital medical records. So the medical coder picks the record and code them. And these codes are used for reimbursement. Now, while it also pertains to the all important aspect of insurance reimbursement, medical coding offers, uh, sorry, medical coding offers, uh, it also it offers a unique code for diagnosis and medical procedures. And uh, the translation of diagnosis and procedures into these universal codes allow the healthcare provider to process, process the bill uh, accurately for reimbursement. Medical coding has been around since the 17th century, about 300 years ago. It's been used in Europe and America to improve their healthcare system, reporting, statistical data collection, uh, insurance reimbursement, and so many other uses. Today, they, the World Health Organization super, superintends the use of these codes. There are 117 countries around the world that does medical coding, 117 countries around the world. Um, I would want to jump the history. You can read the history yourself. Now, thanks to digital technology and cloud-based technology, this function, the function of medical coding in healthcare facilities can be done remotely from the comfort of your home anywhere in the world. Once you have a laptop or a desktop computer with internet connection, you can do the coding. And this is what uh, my company, BS Africa Limited, in collaboration with a business process outsourcing company in the US that is into medical coding called CareerWise, had brought to West Africa. And we call it the West African Medical Coding uh, and Billing Certification Program. In the invitation link, that was sent to you, uh, there was that link where you click on or you copy and paste in any web browser and you will have access to the medical coding, the West African Medical Coding and Billing Certification Program. I just, I'm all currently on that website. I just want to read key portions of it. I'm sure by now you have read it. If you haven't, you can always visit and read it, it's always there. We welcome you to the medical coding and billing certification course and the accompanying virtual internship training and job placement program. This is an exceptional opportunity for individuals in West Africa to be part of an industry leading training and job program 
to serve the USA and other nations' healthcare revenue cycle management job market. One training is focused on the field of medical coding and billing. This program includes full access to the most comprehensive training course of its kind from careerwise.com, where the company directors have trained and placed over 100,000 individuals into, into USA healthcare jobs. Students who successfully complete this education and training program will qualify themselves for full-time remote-based work positions with major USA-based healthcare companies who are seeking to hire individuals with this specific training and skill set. This is an excellent career path with stable, long-term income as well as future growth potential. This is a foot in the door opportunity for individuals in West Africa that can learn, perform, and excel in this field. Success in this rigorous program, and I must state that it is a very rigorous program. Success in this rigorous program will bring thousands of good paying jobs to those living in West Africa. This is an opportunity to provide good income for yourself and your family through obtaining specific skill-based education and training leading to stable, to a stable paying career working remotely in West Africa for major USA-based healthcare companies. Okay, the rest, um, uh, further information that uh, provides a better clarity on the medical coding program. We are looking for people like yourself who meet this criteria to train and to place in these medical coding jobs. It must be somebody with proven record of academic success. You must have excellent English writing, reading and speaking skills. You must be somebody who pay attention to detail. You must be somebody who have a good study skills, i.e. able to learn in a self-paced online learning environment. You might be somebody who is able to learn and memorize medical language, medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, pharmacology, and so on and so forth. You might be somebody who possesses basic computer skills. And we say basic computer skills, we are referring to the basic Microsoft Word, basic uh, Excel. PowerPoint skills, perfect enough to do medical coding. You don't need to have a programming background at all. You are not going to use, in fact, you're not going to do any programming at all. You must be somebody who own a PC, a desktop or a laptop. Smartphones, tablets and other mobile devices are not sufficient for medical coding and might be somebody who has access to reliable internet. Now, you're going to go through between six months to 12 months training, completely online, at your own pace, at your own availability, convenience for you. You're going to go through 10 components or 10 models of this program. I'm going to show you shortly. And when you are done, you are not going to look for medical coding job. We will place you in a medical coding job. 
and this is your income potential. Your starting full-time salary for a certified medical coder is expected to be approximately $450 per month for full-time work. And this is expected to grow as you gain experience and you branch out into supervising others as, cool, as a supervising medical coder or as a med managing medical coder or medical coding auditor and other roles. You can also specialize in, in, in a number of medical coding specialization. Can specialize as a gynecology medical coder, as the ENT medical coder, uh, orthopedic medical coding, oncology medical coding, cardiology, gastroenterology. As long as there is a medical specialization, there is a medical coding, as a corresponding medical coding specialization. Now, $450, that is fresh entry, I mean, fresh salary from, I mean, fresh after training, fair salary, $450, $550, dollars and upwards. Uh, if you use today's uh, extreme rate of Ghana cities to the dollar, uh, 9.2, 9.3, I hear it's about 9.5 now. That's about 4,100, 4,200, 4,300 Ghana cities as entry level salary. Remember, you can do it as full time or as part time coding jobs. The job placement model. Career wise, our partners in the US is partnering with a number of healthcare companies who hire certified medical coders and billers. These companies in turn provide services to major USA healthcare hospitals, physician providers, and payers involved in the USA healthcare revenue cycle management industry. These US-based companies hire many of the certified medical coding and billing personnel. CareerWise expect to help facilitate each student by validating completion of the certification course, completion and time spent in the virtual, chat-wise virtual internship and passage of the final certification exams. CareerWise may be asked to share this information with potential employers and assist you and assist in your placement and hiring process. Your scores and learning performance results are important indicators towards your successful employment. All program graduates are free to utilize any other outside job placement services of their own choosing or to seek employment directly with, an, uh, with potential employee employers. So, in a nutshell, we will place you in medical coding jobs after successfully going through the program, going through the virtual internship and passing your final certification exam. Then we will guarantee you a job as a medical coder. Now, there are two routes to medical coding. We have outpatient medical coding and inpatient medical coding. And the, each route has its own, each route has its own certification and accrediting body. So we have, you saw the American Academy of Professional Coders, AAPC, certificating and accrediting outpatient medical coders. Then we have another body, AHIMA, the American Health, Informa American Health Information Management Association, AHIMA certification, certificating inpatient medical coders. For outpatient medical coding or inpatient medical coding, you go through this, this uh, program. These are the courses you must go through. 
The first one is foundations of medical language, medical technology, anatomy and disease or anatomy and physiology, pharmacology. Those of you with a health background or those of you with medical background, nursing, medicine, you would have had this training already. So it's going to be a walkthrough for you. But as you saw the criteria, you don't need to have a health background to do medical coding. No matter what your educational discipline, you can become a medical coder, you go through the program. So you do medical technology, you do anatomy and disease, you do pharmacology, then you do coding industry basics, you do health data management, you do ICD-10 CM coding. You remember the three set of code I talked about. You will have time to go through all of them. ICD-10 has over 73,000 codes. You don't need to memorize any of them. You're going to use softwares, call them encoder software in coding. You just need to know the diagnosis of the doctor and then you put the diagnosis into the appropriate software, it brings up the code for you. Then you'll also have time to, uh, to learn CPT and HCPCS procedural coding. Then you start your virtual internship. So you have the chat wise outpatient or inpatient uh, virtual internship or the practicum. We prepare you, you write a final certification exams certified by the appropriate accrediting body. And then the job placement after graduation come, job placement, uh, job preparation and placement service, which is an integral part of the entire program. The program would not exist if uh, without the job placement. So the job placement is integral part of it. You can choose to find your own job, but otherwise you will always uh, rely on us to provide you the jobs. Now, let me finish by sharing with you the various, the costs of the program and how you're going to pay for the cost of this program. Let me share the appropriate screen. Um, when I finish, if you are interested, um, we have contact, we'll share with you. We'll share the presentation, the recorded version and all the presentation. And then uh, we'll also encourage you to do your own background search, due diligence, be comfortable. Anytime you feel you are ready, will guide you to start a program. Now, as I said, there are two routes, the medical coding program. So we have the outpatient medical coding and the inpatient medical coding. What's on your screen now is the various component of the outpatient cost and the fees. The total cost for the outpatient medical coding program comes to $2,264, $2,264. You're not going to pay all, you're going to pay up to half of the total cost. Half of 2264 is 1132. And even that half, you're not going to pay at a go, you're going to pay bit by bit. And this is how you're going to pay. You start by enrolling in the foundations of medical language course, and you only pay $74. $74 at today's exchange rate is maximum um, about 600 CDs. Then when you are done, the foundations of medical language will take you maximum uh, three weeks to one month, you'll be done with it. Then you enroll in the second model, which is anatomy and disease, which is also $74 or 600 CDs. When, uh, that one will also take you three weeks to one month. <laughs> that 
That one will also take you three weeks to one month. And when you are done, you enroll in pharmacology. That one, uh, that one will cost you $74. When you are done, you enroll in coding industry basics. That one will cost you $119. Then health data management, $179. ICD-10 CM, $419. HCPCS, uh, $419. There is um, all the coding books, coding books, four sets of coding books, or five sets of coding books. If you choose to do the inpatient coding, if you are doing outpatient coding, four sets of coding books covering ICD-10, CPT, HCPCS, and a medical dictionary. That is the cost for it. Then we also have, um, the software for coding. So the digital coding book, the $239 covers all the four sets of coding books, plus the software you'll be using during training and then when you start working. Then it also covers your virtual internship and then the final certification exams and the job placement. So that is for outpatient coding. The inpatient coding has the first four course as the same as the outpatient coding. So you have the foundations of medical language, anatomy and disease, pharmacology, coding industry basics. Then the rest follow health data management for inpatient coders, ICD-10, CM for hospital, for outpatient and inpatient coding and CPT and ACPCS, you will do one extra course, which is ICD-10 PCS coding. Then the rest follow. You do virtual internship, final certification exam, job placement. So because of the extra course, which is the ICD-10 PCS coding course, an extra $419, that brings the total cost to 2683, $2,683. Okay. And as I said, you're not going to pay all. You're going to pay up to half, bit by bit, and the other half through your salary when you start working as a medical coder. When you start earning uh, your money, um, your salary, uh, small portions of your salary will be deducted as source to pay for the, the, that half of the cost you were you weren't able to pay. Okay. So that's the bit about the cost of the medical coding program. It is flexible and um, we believe this will help you to able to establish yourself in the medical coding industry. Now, let me conclude by saying that we began the West African Medical Coding Program about two years ago. As we speak, we have about 2,500 students on the program across West Africa, across West Africa. Currently, we have a large portion, the larger portion of the students that is being supported by a church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is supporting a larger number of students to go through the program. The church is funding the cost of training for the student. Then we have other churches funding one or two or three. So the Church of Pentecost in Kumasi is funding one or two. Another church in Tema is funding one or two individuals. Then we have other individuals supporting other uh, persons going through the program. We have uh, about a thousand of students that had finished the entire program and have started working and earning salaries here in Ghana and also across West Africa. We've been having periodic interaction with some of these certified medical coders 
working medical coders, uh, Ghanaians and other West Africans that had finished and are working every Saturday at 5 p.m. You are free to join, to interact with some of these people, ask them their experience, the up and down, how they wrote the final certification exams, they failed and they have to write again and so on and so forth. It will motivate you. In conclusion, medical coding is open to everybody. It doesn't matter your academic background. You go through six month to 12 month training. This includes real training completely online. When you finish, you do virtual internship also online. You write a final certification exams. And when you pass, we place you in medical coding job. When you fail, you can, re you can reset the exams again. And until you pass and then you start working. As I said earlier, medical coding is permanent jobs, permanent. It is not temporary. It is not contract. It's not one year, two years, five years, or 10 years. It's for life. And it's a, a career with clear progression, career ladder to do. You can do medical coding privately, sorry, um, as full-time or as part-time. To be honest with you, uh, the West Africans who had gone through the program, most of them were working in other areas. But gradually, they are doing medical coding as full-time employment. You can, when you finish and you start working, will guide you to specialize. You can specialize as a gynecology medical coder, ENT, emergency, oncology, cardiology, gastroenterology, orthopedics, name it. Wherever there is a medical specialization, there's a corresponding medical coding specialization. At this point, I would want to pause for questions and answers. If you have any question at all, any comment, please raise your hand, I'll call you, then you ask your question. Hello, can you hear me? Good. Yes, please. All right, so let's go one after the other. I see Osain Bia Kumi, Linda. Linda, please, you have the floor. Unmute yourself and ask your question. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Sister Linda, how are you? Yes, I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Please ask your question. Um, yes. So um, my question is, aside the payment, how do you take care of your staffs after employment? So line in relation to medical care and other things. Are you referring to- Please like, my question. Like condition of service, ben fringe benefits? Yes, please. Oh, that's a good question. So um, social security, in fact, uh, our support even begins with receiving your salaries. So your salaries will come through us and then we distribute it to your various accounts. You establish account uh, with banks of your own choice and your payment comes as in Ghana, and then we distribute it to you. Um, most of the times, the current students that are working, the basic challenge they face is the conversion rate. You know, you'll be, you'll be paid in US dollars. In the United States, you are, you are paid not at the end of the month. You are paid either weekly or bi-weekly. You are paid every week or every two weeks. 
the payment comes in dollars, but when it gets to Ghana, our local banks will always want to convert your US dollar into Ghana CDs and pay it to you. Uh, if you want to take a US dollar, there is some fee you need to pay in receiving US dollar. We are negotiating with the Bank of Ghana to help resolve that challenge. But until then, this is what's required. So, and then the other benefits include your social security, your, um, your employer in the US also have various benefits. Medical aid. So when you are sick, you go to the hospital, your, your healthcare needs are taken care of, the healthcare costs are taken care of. Um, and then uh, some employers, if you work directly for hospitals and clinics, will provide you with the laptop and all, but the laptop to work with because you need to log in onto the server. You'll be working with patients' information. These are private information, confidential information. So you'll be logged on to a server, secure server. You can only work from that server and they, they will bring you a laptop that can help you log into the server. So yes, we provide so many other support for our uh, students and our medical coders. Linda, I hope I have answered your question. Oh. For now, yes, please, but I'll hold on with my other questions to see if the other people on board would ask similar and then i'll do the same so thank you. Oh, thank you very much and you mentioned my name very well Osimbia. thank you yes i'm an equipping man i'm adiobo adiobo from obosmase so Osimbia, oh okay that's why Osimbia is oh, okay. like me from obosmase uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah i'm, I'm from a so nice meeting you nice there. meeting you linda <laughs> good right. sister thank stella you. i can I can see your hand. Sister Sela, you have the floor. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for the presentation and thank you for the opportunity as well. For some of us, we've been looking for a remote work for long and we consider this as an opportunity. I have several questions. Um, I hope I'll be allowed to ask all of them. Um, in terms of the um, intensity of the training, you mentioned it's rigorous. I wanted to find out how rigorous it is. Because if you talk about it being rigorous, I was like, okay, um, how rigorous it is. And I mean, in terms of the demand and all that, the time it would demand and the commitment and all that. And the second question, can I please no, no, um, no, ask them? Uh, no, no, let me answer them before I forget them, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. okay, so on your screen now, I am on the course website. Okay, uh, if it's not showing, it will soon show on your screen. Okay, it's showing. Okay. Good. So on the course website, you will go to bsa.careerwise.com. Then you click on course catalog or enroll today. Uh, you see the courses and the fees. Um, when when purchasing it, you you can purchase it to your local uh, Visa card or Mastercard or even mobile money. It's a system. You just buy the course as, like the way you buy things online. Now, okay. um, so the first course you do is foundation of medical language, anatomy, and disease pharmacology follows like that. Now, in terms of time commitment, you need an hour a day, an hour a day an hour a day convenient for you. It can be in the morning, it can be in the afternoon, it can be in the evening, it can be late night, it can be dawn. Most of our students currently study and do their assignments at dawn, when the, the mind is fresh and the brain is relaxed and there's less noise. I have logged in onto a current to an existing student's uh, course page. Let me make sure I'm sharing the right screen. So just give me a second. It should show up on your screen shortly. Um, good. So you see bid 
Matogu. Um, this gentleman works as a, an IT person in a training, a health training institution in Kumase. And he has gone through the entire program. He's currently doing virtual internship. So when you purchase the foundation of medical language, you see intro to medical coding. It, it, is, it gives you an overview of the entire content of the program. So intro to medical coding learning objective. In this program, you will learn how to read patient medical records and apply ICD-10 CM diagnostic codes, HCPCS codes, and CPT procedural codes. You also you will also understand the role of the medical coder in the healthcare industry and how you will help ensure quality healthcare and reporting through quality coding. Okay. Um, a program outline, it shows you two sets of courses. So we have the outpatient coding, inpatient coding, and the various courses you will do. And then the system requirement, you need a laptop and a, or a desktop with uh, browser, Google Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari, uh, tablets, and smartphones are not supported because we are preparing you to work and the software using, used for coding are not Android or I, iOS based. They are web based mostly. So you will use your laptop and desktop. Okay. And then we'll show you how the course um, navigation and so on and so forth. Then when you are done, you go back to the dashboard and you start with foundations of medical language. Where is this foundation? Okay, so good. So the foundation of medical language looks like this. It's, it's 317 pages. You're going to learn medical technologies, uh, the source of medical technologies and how they are put together and their meaning. And every topic, there's an, a short assignment you do, you submit. Once you submit, it is marked and you are scored immediately. You know, so everything has been done on your course page. You need an hour a day, okay, an hour a day to do your uh, visit your course page at your own convenience, read the tutorials, the test, the assignment, the exams do it and progress at your own pace, okay? You will see games, you will see um, interesting games and crossword puzzles, beautiful things that will help facilitate your learning. But this is medicine, it's medical related. And so you can imagine you need to put in a bit of work to be able to excel. Okay, I hope I have answered uh, at least your first question. Please ask me your second question. Yes, please, you have, thank you for that. Um, the second question is, um, so are we going to take the exams after each module? Or after the 10 modules, that's when we take the exams. Beautiful are we going to be examining? Beautiful question. So there is an exams, at the end of each module. So there's a course completion exams. So I'm going to the end of the foundation of medical language course. You see course exams is already here. So you do that. When you are ready, you click on lunch text and the exams come. And then you go through the exams. When you finish, um, you click on submit. And then your exams is marked automatically. So you know your, the results even before you get up from your seat. So this student, the last time he took the exams, he scored 34 out of 36. Okay. So there is an exams at the end of each topic. And then when you are done, you see course completion. It tells you congratulations. And then you tell you the next course you are going to do. So upon upon completing this course, your next course to enroll is in this anatomy and disease course. And it tells you what, how to go and buy it and so on and so forth. Then before, uh, and then there is a final certification exams that is at the end of 
all the 10, but all the seven modules. The, 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 the modules are 10, one to seven is where you do real, real learning. And uh, the seventh one is the internship. The eighth one is the final exams. No, 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 I'm messing up. I'm messing them up. The first one to seven is the course. The eighth is the internship. The ninth is the final certification exams. The final certification exams covers all the modules you have covered. So from foundation to CPT and ACPC as procedural coding course, you'll be examined on that. The final exams, if I can tell you, it's 150 multiple choice questions plus uh, clinical scenarios, clinical scenarios, which you would do in about three hours. And once you finish, you get the scoring immediately. So when you pass, you will know. When you fail, you will know. Ms. Alice, I hope I've answered your second question. What's your third yes. question? You have um, just a follow-up question to the exams. Um, will we have, let's say, something like past questions for the certification exams? Maybe uh, there are past questions that we can study. Should we roll, Should we enroll for the program? Is there anything yes. like that? Yes. Yeah, so on your on your course page on your navigation bar, uh, we have what we call study decks. The study desk for each topic about 400 different questions that are exams type questions. So you can call it past questions to prepare you adequately for the final certification exams. Okay, so the next one is the length, the duration for the virtual internship. Beautiful question. And so, is it going to be a paid internship as well? No, you are paying for the internship. We are paying for that. Yes. Okay. And on the course page of this student I'm sharing on my screen, you see it's currently on the virtual internship. So can you see chat wise outpage in virtual internship? Yes. So you yes, click yes. on it. Um, let me go back a bit so that you get a full picture. So the virtual internship is also 337 pages. It's on demand. It's available to you. Once you purchase it, it's available to you, just like all the other courses. And you're going to do it at your own pace. The only difference is that this has a lot of clinical scenarios and it comes with real world patient health records in the exact format as you will see it when you start coding in real practice. So an example is what I'm sharing with you, practice scenario two. Um, so you will see the medical history of the patient on the left and on the right is where you do the coding. You put in the, you will have to identify the correct diagnosis, the treatment, the medication. You bring it to the right hand side and it automatically will find the codes for you. The key is identifying the correct diagnosis. And for you to identify that, you must be able to understand the language of the doctor. Okay, so you must understand the terminology. Uh, surgical procedures and so on and so forth. Now, at points, okay, and then the virtual internship covers the following uh, medical specialty. So you have cardiology, dermatology, family practice, gastroenterology, general surgery, internal medicine, ops and gynae, orthopedics, radiology, the diagnostic part of radiology, and then mix specialties under outpatient coding. Okay. Now, so you will see a lot of clinical scenarios and you're going to also going to interact with medical coding aspects. 
okay, to guide you in appropriately assigning the correct codes for the clinical scenarios you see. Now, to ask, answer Alice's question, how long will it take? It depends on you. But on the average, it will take you between a minimum of three months to a maximum of six months to finish the entire virtual internship program. Three to six months, you'll be done. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. The, the other question is, um, with the two routes defined, um, does it mean we can't combine the two or it depends on the individual's capacity or ability to combine the two? Okay. Or strictly we have to choose a route one okay. route, I mean, strictly we have one route to choose or something. Okay, now, Ms. Alice, you are not, you, are, you don't need to do the two courses. Now, uh, you can choose to do just one. If you choose to do, if you want to have expertise in both settings, that is outpatient and inpatient settings, then you will do inpatient medical coding. If you don't want to do anything in inpatient setting, you will do outpatient medical coding. Now, if you want to have expertise in both outpatient and inpatient setting, I'm saying you should do inpatient medical coding because, let me show you. This is the course models for the inpatient medical coding program. You start with foundation of medical language, anatomy, pharmacology, coding industry basics, then health data management for inpatient coding. Look at number six, ICD-10 CM for inpatient and outpatient coding. Jump okay. to number five, the chat wise internship for inpatient and outpatient virtual internship. So if you do the inpatient coding course, you invariably be doing combining the two to do. Do you, do you understand it now? Yes, please. Uh -huh. So if you want to have expertise in both courses, do inpatient. By the time you are done, you would have, you would have expertise in both settings. But if you don't want to have anything to do with inpatient coding, then please do outpatient coding and you will have expertise in only outpatient coding course. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Now, the last three questions. Um, the last three questions. Um, so with regards to, let's say, we working for BS Africa Limited. I don't know if it's going to be BS Africa Limited or career-wise. Career Are there wise. possibilities of working Career-wise, okay. Are there possibilities of working directly with like medical, US medical after some time or it's, we are going to be under career-wise for as long as we stay on the program? Beautiful question. So when you finish, you start working as a medical coder. Uh, you'll be working for career-wise will place you in a medical coding job for two reasons. One, for you to have a job to do, but two, to pay the other half of the fee you, you have given to you as loan. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> then when you finish paying the loan, you are free to go anywhere in the world to work. Okay, once you finish paying the, the loan component, you are free to, to work for any other uh, uh, healthcare institution or coding company or even insurance companies. Okay. Okay, sir. So the last two, I'll combine it. All right. Um, aside, aside the, I mean, the financial aid we get from career-wise in terms of having us to pay half and then the remaining balance when we are working, are there other scholarship opportunities 
like for the other half as well, because 2000 US dollars, converting it to Ghana cities is a huge sum of money. Even thousand dollars is about 10,000 cities. If, if I should do it, 10 cities, I'm sure by the time we get there, um, the dollar rates might have increased or not. I don't know if there are other financial assistance we could receive or aid, like some churches are supporting some people. Yes, there are. And the, okay. Okay, sir, please, I'll, sir, please, you can go on, then I would come back again. All right. With the last. Currently, CareerWise has a foundation in the United States called the SKIP okay. Foundation, SKIP Foundation, S-K-E-E-P, SKIP Foundation. Okay. That, that give loans to West Africans to do the medical coding program. Okay, please. But um, it, it gives um, the loan or the scholarship to, in fact, it's a loan. You would have to pay back when you start working. But here they pay your fees for you full. You don't pay anything. But okay. it, it, it is skewed towards women. <laughs> and then uh, about 40 <laughs> persons get that loan at any given point in time. 40 people at any oh, given okay. point in time. Yes. Wow. So you can search SKIP, S-K-E-E-P, SKIP Foundation. And then okay, the other churches program, um, it is not institutionalized. And since medical coding is very new in our part of the world, it needs a lot of talking to and sensitization to get their buy-in. In fact, apart from the Church of Jesus yeah. Christ of Latter-day Saints, which is a US church, and they know about the medical coding program, and so it's easy for them to buy into it quickly. The other local churches okay. uh, have no idea what it is. And therefore, it took interested students who think they need it and convinced their head pastors to support them. Then after the support, they are gradually planning on how to open it up for other church members to also benefit from. So in terms of scholarship, that is what it is currently. Now, finally, there is a, a German body, uh, they call it the German Employment Center. When you go to the Ministry of Education, uh, just behind the Mi Ministry of Labor and Employment, there's a German Employment Center. They give a thousand euro for anybody who wants to go through internship. You may need okay. to speak with them. Okay, please. All right. At least your last so that's question. The okay, so please, the last question is when the next program is starting, okay. or let's say the calendar for the year. All right. Thank you, Sister Alice. Now you are thinking a Ghanaian. When it comes to medical coding, you have to think like an American. Okay. <laughs> we don't have a calendar for admission and graduation, no. It is any time you feel ready. You go to the course page, as I've shown you, purchase a course and start. As soon as you purchase a course, we'll organize an individual orientation via Zoom with you. Take you through the entire program, what to expect, uh, how to study, and a whole lot of things. Then you start. You join uh, many other students on various WhatsApp groups that are currently on the program at various levels. So we have students currently at the foundation level, students at the core skills level, students at the virtual intensive level, students we are preparing to write the final exams. And then we have those who are working 
they also have their unique group and they join. So uh, where you are, we place you appropriately, you interact with other students, share ideas, share problems and challenges, study together if you wish. And then, uh, so to answer your question, any time you feel ready, you have your 600 CDs on your mobile wallet or on your Visa card or MasterCard. Go to the course website, purchase Foundations of Medical Language and start your course. Okay, sir. Good. Thank you, Sister Alice. Let me, Sister Dora's hand had been up, then I'll come to Ebenezer. Sadora, kindly unmute yourself. Afternoon. Afternoon, Sister Dora, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, I would like to ask, how many times can one retake the exams? If you choose a route and then you get to the final stage and then you fail, how many chances are you going to get to retake the exams? to be able to pass and then start working? As many times as you want. Oh. Okay. But at an extra $10 fees. For each recit, for wow. each recit, you pay $10, $10. But at that time, if you are on the financial aid program, that will fall under mm -hmm. Okay. That working for your salary. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I have a question about the specialization aspect of it too. Okay. So um, let's say I'm done with um one. Is there two routes for the medical coding? Yes. So go through the outpatient medical coding and I come out and then I want to specialize in, let's say, gynecology. Yes. How long will it take me to start and then complete the course? Is it as long as the other courses or this is shorter? No, or... no. This one is one model course. The specialization is one model course. Okay. So you go through it. Maximum three months, you will be done. But... Uh, yeah. You really, uh, when you get to the specialization, my sister, you need, you need to practice a while because it is purely practical, real case okay. situation. So okay. we'll guide you after, when you start working, practice for a year or two. You okay. come in contact with uh, a lot of patient records, a lot of patients, a lot of uh, healthcare institutions, you understand the American healthcare system, okay. especially Medicare and Medicaid and the various mm -hmm. health insurance system. Then you focus on say your gynecology, mm -hmm. uh, women delivery, childbirth and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. It is then you'll be properly prepared to go through the specialization program. Oh, okay. Yes. And then I forgot this, just as you know, medical, practitioners, doctors do what you call CPD, continuous professional development. Mm -hmm. It is so for all professional bodies. So accountants, I am a chartered accountant okay. and also a medical coder. I do CPD programs with ACC. Every year you need to do some courses uh, to learn new things that are coming, new technology, so on and so forth. And this these courses must be accredited by the, the, the various accrediting body. It comes with a CPD point. You use this CPD point to renew your license to practice as a medical holder every two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. I forgot to mention that. Okay. And so with the so it means that with the licensing, it's being credited to you once you start working. Yeah, so the, the whole program includes the, so the examination certification, certification and the licenses are together. Okay. So you get everything at the go, you start practicing with it. But after two years, you need to renew that license and you need to uh, do, there are accredited online CPD courses or 
you can also travel to the United States or anywhere in the world. And may mm -hmm. I say, with your medical holdings certification, getting a United States visa, it's a lot more easier. You go to do in-person in conferencing on medical okay. coding or scientific conferencing, that must be accredited. Then with the CPD point, you are able to renew your license to practice. Okay. Okay. This is quite interesting. <laughs> yes, okay. it is. Now I have um, a few questions on, uh, let me quickly answer that they are short, short ones, then I'll, I'll give the floor to uh, sure, somebody said, because the difference between out and in is just one cause. Ah, okay, all right. Then I, I feel like if we all should, one way or the other. Okay. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Then somebody, Esther, Sister Esther asked, is there an age limit to, to those who can enroll? Sister Esther, there is no age limit. In fact, the good news is, I can tell you, uh, we have a number of our current students who are around 50, 55, 59. Uh, I curiously asked them one day, why are you just about to retire and you are doing medical coding course? And the simple answer is, it is my retirement plan. If I don't want, I don't need to travel anywhere, sit in the comfort of my home, do a few codes, and earn 4,000 CDs plus a month. That is more than the SNP pension I can ever get. And so it is open to all. And majority of medical coders globally today are women, especially stay home women. They help you combine your divine duty as mothers with your career as medical coders. Okay, so Sister Amma says, can you go over the financial assistance aside part payment? Okay, uh, as, as I said, we have a financial aid program where you pay up to half of the cost bit by bit that is called model by model, and the other half through your salary when you start working. There, are, there is a scholarship uh, foundation, SCIP foundation owned by CareerWise that is paying, but is highly competitive, very, 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 very competitive. And there are a number of churches at their, at their own discretion, it's not institutionalized, offering various scholarships to a number of students. Okay. Ebenezer, you have the floor now. Hello. Yes, Ebin, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, and thank you very much for uh, the presentation. I just, I joined a few minutes ago, and so I missed, I think, almost every part of the presentation, but I, 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 went, I read through the uh, website. Um, so my question is, uh, so uh, let's say that with the first three courses, uh, foundation of medical language, anatomy and disease and pharmacology. Um, so if you register for the first three uh, courses, you, uh, after you are done, is there a way you could get something like a certificate? Or well, maybe somebody might not be interested in taking all the coding courses, but then because the person would like maybe further an education. So, and then the first three might be, um, uh, a prerequisite. So, will, will, is there any um, anything like that of getting a, a certification for the first three? All right. Um, thank you for that question, Ebenezer. Now, the answer to that question is a yes and a no. A yes, uh, you get certification for on request for the model you had finished. It is not the normal practice. You get a certification on a request. Now, it's a no because for you to practice as a medical coder, you need to go through the entire program to finish, get a license to practice as a medical coder. 
you cannot call yourself a medical coder when you have not gone through the ICD-10, CPTA, CPCS, and the virtual internship, sat and passed the final exams. You need to have a license to practice. A, the medical coding is about the health of individuals. And you know, health and healthcare globally is legally regulated. And as part of that regulation, you need to have a license to practice. And therefore, you have to go through the entire program, finish all before you can practice as a medical coder. But in a situation where the scenario you are painting, where you need a certificate to go and do something else, apart from medical coding, yes, we can get you that certificate. Okay, then. thank you very much. I think my question is uh, being answered. Um, yeah, thank you. You're welcome, Eben. All right. Um, I have two more questions here. First question says, please, do you have an office here in Ghana or in Accra where one can come for clarification? Yes. Currently, we have a small office in Adenta. We'll soon be moving to the Accra Digital Center in Accra, somewhere set or Accra Digital Center. So uh, you can call on us anytime. You can also reach us on WhatsApp 24 seven and any of our digital channels, uh, you can reach us for any clarification. Then the next question, can one finish the models even within a month period since it is at their own pace and can spend longer hours going through it? Yes. If you choose to finish the whole program in one day, I mean, once you log in and you do the coursework, there will be evidence of your coursework. Everything you do is saved on the server. So it's at your own pace. If you want to use one month to finish all, you are welcome. If you will use one year, two years, three years, yes, you are welcome. Okay, then the next question is, please, do you, do you have any advice Please, you do have any advice, people like me who have little or no knowledge in medical field because your models are all geared towards the field of medicine. Oh yes, Israel, I cited myself an ex as an example. I am a chartered accountant, but I'm a medical coder. It doesn't matter your background. The program starts from zero. It assume you have no knowledge of uh, health at all. So it starts from where, uh, the ground zero and builds you up gradually to become a medical coder. See, you must think like the American. The American system, you have a situation where today a carpenter can decide, I'm going to medical school or law school, enroll in medical school or law school and become a lawyer or a, a doctor. In Ghana and in West Africa, if you want to become a medical doctor, you must, you must have started science in probably nursery and continue from there. You cannot bend your way. It is not so in the US or in the UK. You can. So to answer your question, it doesn't matter your academic background. It can always start. OK. Then. Uh, the next question from MM, please, how long do we need to work per day as coders? And can we get an example of how the coding works? Oh, yes. MM, as I said, you can work full time or part time. Your salary is not based on the, like the Ghana system where you go to work 8 a.m. and close 5 p.m. So whether you work or not, you get a fixed salary. No, in the US, you are paid per hour. So there's an hourly rate. You can Google salaries of medical coders and you see the hourly rate. Today, the average rate is about $21.25 per hour in the US, in the US. Outside the US, it's about $5, $6, up to $10 per hour. Uh, if you ask me why the difference, the answer is cheap labor. Okay, and 
uh, economic circumstances and so on and so forth. Now, so the more hours you work, the more money you make. The more hours you work, the more money you make. So you decide on the hours you work. Now, because you are paid per hour, you can also choose when you have finished paying the career-wise loan. You can also choose to work for one, two, three, four different healthcare institutions as a medical coder at the same time. You, hear, you normally hear your brothers and sisters, I'm working two jobs, I'm working three jobs. It's because you are paid per hour. So you can work two hours here, three hours here, five hours, one hour there, and so on and so forth. And you are paid. Now, in terms of examples of how the coding works, I don't even need to give you examples. Just go to YouTube now, Google a day in the life of a medical coder. A day in a life of a medical coder. You see thousands of people doing medical coding, showing videos, live videos, sorry, recorded videos of what they do. So they wake up in the morning, they brush their teeth, they take a bath, they go and sit down behind their computer and they go to their software, the medical records are there, and they start coding how they trace the code. You can do it digitally, you can also have. Uh, hard copy coding books, and you see ex thousands of videos of it. I don't need to give you any example. Just Google it, you'll find all the information you need. Okay, then, hey, my namesake, David. David says, hello, I joined quite late. I just wanted to know where the certification comes from. Okay, so the certification comes from either AAPC, if you are doing outpatient coding, or AHIMA. AAPC, the American Academy of Professional Coders, or AHIMA, American Health Information Management Association. Name, I hope I have answered your question. Then he said, I notice it is being recorded. Can we have a link to access a recorded presentation after it is done? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot share it on the chat page currently, because when you finish, it has to be it will take some time for the recording to be available, maybe 30 minutes or so. My challenge now is how to send it to you. So I'm going to, I'm putting our WhatsApp number on the chat uh, page. Just send a hi on WhatsApp to that number. Uh, the WhatsApp number is 055119589. Or 020-223-7853. Okay, so you can all see it. Just send hi on WhatsApp and request for a recording of the Zoom meeting and I will share the link with all of you. Is there any other question, any, any other concern, comment? This is the opportunity to ask now, because we are wrapping up. I said we are spending 30 minutes, we are spent almost an hour now. Do you have any other question, please? Okay, so we don't have any other question. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, okay, one question I just popped up. Let me check. Jobs after training is guaranteed, right? Yes, MM, job after training is guaranteed. In fact, um, there are two reasons for you to see. The first one is when I showed you the fees, you are paying for job placement. For those of you who came in late, I want to share that link with you. I want to share that page. Um, so when you send me a hi on WhatsApp, you can also request for the detailed document on the fees, the breakdown, the financial aid, I'll send you to you, uh, you will see it. So uh, let me make sure I'm sharing the right screen one second. It should show on your screen anywhere from now. Okay, so you will see the model 10, job placement, $249. You are paying for it. 
you pay for it. Uh, you pay for it. And therefore, once you are paid for it, you must get that service. Okay. And then remember, you are paying half the cost. So the other half, you necessarily must work for career wise to get their fees from you. Okay. So um, that is it. Um, I think is that uh, Osain Bia says, please, what about family and entertainment on care of staff? Uh, yes, we have a number of uh, institutions that provide uh, entertainment. Some even provide an annual flight to the uh, facility where you are working for in the US as holiday and back right? to you and sometimes your family, your immediate family, but you only get that after a long period of service for them. You only qualify for that. Not when you have just begun, no. Maybe five, six, 10 years later, you get that um, uh, benefits. Then Kelvin says, please, does it mean that the $450 per month is not fixed since it's per hour and can work how long they wish to work a day? Yes, it is not fixed. So you see the term there is approximately. The $450 is the worst case scenario. Assuming you are working four hours a day and uh, in our poor internet system and our uh, lighting, unstable lighting system, we assume, that, let's say the person is only able to work four hours a day. How much will the person earn? It's about, worst case scenario, $450 and upwards. Okay. Uh, Melissan says, please, if one decides to make payment at the beginning of each model, do you get a financial aid for half, for half payment immediately you reach the half payment amount or you have to request for the financial aid? Please, as I said, as soon as you enroll in the first model, Foundation of Medical Language, among the documents you get, in fact, you get an automatic email. The email welcomes you. And among the email, you see a link for financial aid form. So right from there, you decide whether I need financial aid or I'm able to pay all the costs or I have scholarship. If you want financial aid, you use the link. It's a, a, Google, doc, a Google document link. You just click on it. It opens for you, you fill it up, you click submit, and you go straight to career-wise. Then the uh, the financial aid is set for you. Once you reach the half payment, the other half of the course is automatically open for you. You go through, you finish, you start working, and you start paying the other cost. Okay. On this note, hey, another question has just popped in. <laughs> Samuel says, can payment be done with cryptocurrency? Yes, you can do payment by cryptocurrency. This is the United States. <laughs> So you can do payment by cryptocurrency. And oh yes, the fees are indicated in dollars, but when you are paying, it will change to CDs. Once you begin to make purchase, you see gradually when you get to the payment point, it will change to the, uh, the exchange rate ruling on the day you are paying. So you pay in CD, you are not going to pay the fees in dollars. On that note, Thank you very much for your time. We encourage you to do your independent search. Tell your friends, your other colleagues, your mates who could not make it, tell them about medical coding. These are jobs for you. We brought medical coding to West Africa because we have the thousands, the hundreds and thousands of graduates from our tertiary institutions that cannot find jobs. Digital technology provides jobs and one of such permanent, career-oriented, stable job is medical coding. We welcome you all to do your independent search, two searches. And when you are ready, please enroll. If you have any challenge, 
get in touch on WhatsApp, send us email, and we'll respond and help you any day, any time. Thank you all for coming and have a good afternoon. Goodbye to you Thank all. you very much, sir. Thank Goodbye. you for the opportunity as well. You are welcome. Goodbye to you Thank all. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Goodbye. 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 Sir, please say your name again. My name is David Adoyobo. David Adoyobo. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.